hello guys welcome to the channel to have a laptop for repair hp 15 g6 notebook he has a broken inches as you can see hp 15 notebook g6 the inches is broken you can see how it is when you want to close it you can't close it very well so let's open it let's lose out all the screws in the back case you have to be careful when losing out the screws because as the case is damaged the the inch is broken you have to be careful when doing it as you can see how we are losing it out we are taking out the case the back case you have to be careful gently you take it off okay we are done that then we have to lose out other parts let's lose out the wifi card we take out the the cables so also the screen flex all right that was the laptop fan so we are going to check out the inch how broke it is this is the right hand inch the knots are out these are the knots and the sitting base is damaged so we have to also lose this other's left side this side also have issues you can see how the knots are out okay we still have to fix it let's take out the case let's go to the screen side all right this side is also broken when they brought the system it looks like it was only one side that was damaged but we can see that even the, the top case screen side is having issue so this is the screen so we have to take off the flex of the screen so that we can do a proper job so we have to work on the top case also so first we apply gum in the place that was broken so then we set the knots as you can see then we use our iron we're going to use a sodium iron as you can see we use a sodium iron to mold we use a sodium iron to mold as you can see so we use a rubber burn a rubber and we apply on the the surface of it then we have to mold it shape it to the way the knot is and blend it together so what do you think is it going to hold it firm well this is the method i've been using so far and it's working best for it then i was using only glue and some aerodytes to to apply but it did not work out please do well to subscribe and like this and share my video i will appreciate that i was using that that time but it was not giving me what i want a customer will come back and complain that it's still not working the way they want so when i use this method it's top notch it's amazing after doing it you see that it's firm and it stands strong so we can see that we are working on the right side now so we have to still mold the air after we're done molding we are going back to the other case called the palm rest case and we are going to do the same thing the same method we are going to use our our iron to mold as we are seeing here so this is still the right side please do well to follow me up for more videos like this going to be taking you on videos like this videos like this and also on any kind of repairs mainly on laptops mainly on laptops repairs um any repairs at all in laptop i do them even on projectors i have my videos on projectors you can still go and watch them we are on the palm rest case now so we are going to mold it or um, mold the right side as you can see we are using the iron to mold so after we are done with this and you are done molding it then we have to still allow it to dry up to two or, or three hours is okay then before we assemble the system so after we are done now we are going to still work on the left side of the case we are still going to work on the left side 
of the case okay it's just only the one side of the knot that was not good in the left side so we have to do that now which we are doing we just have to mold it okay when we are done molding we have to move to the top side again to couple it because that side has dried we have just waited for a while we have waited for two hours for it though i didn't mention the time here but we waited for two hours for it to dry before we start assembling back the system so we are assembling it as fast as we can just to shorten this video not to make it so long for you guys so we put back the frame now we'll put back the pan rest case it will contain the motherboard and other parts then we tie the inches with the screw firmly now the inches you want to make sure you tie this firmly tie it very firmly okay there's the power switch where you can see the flex connect to the board which is this is the wifi card the fan has been put already the screen flex has been put then yeah we are done let's just couple everything and see how it looks make sure all the screws are put intact you put all the screws tight it firmly then we have to still put back the cd room and we'll tighten the screws so let's test it and see how it is you can see how flexible it is and firm the inches are so the laptop is okay now so we let's just test it let's put the battery and test it if it will boot to the desktop it's booting please don't forget to share these videos with your friends your loved ones around you to watch and to learn how this is done thank you so much and you have seen that it's booting to the desktop let's just look at how the body is see how slick it is how firm the inches are Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.